Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is the movie trivia showdown, season eight. War has begun. Marisol, you are no longer part of the den. You are officially part of corruption. I am taking my drive. I am taking my championships, and I am going to the dungeon. And your winner and new yeah! movie trivia smoker, champion of the world. Oh, oh my goodness! King Arthur gets the win. The yes, answer is for Queen and Country. And your winner goes Sam. <laughs> no matter what inner kingdom player they draft next season, I'm going to destroy them. And your winner! Bye. I just want to hear you read it again. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> oh, Yama does it. He wins the free for all. I can't tell you the amount of preparation I put into getting ready today. I put it at a level, level of preparation age. Never ending story. Oh, he's a champion. Oh, wow, what a moment. Welcome to the Movie Trivia Schmodown Awards, and your host, Mark Baby Carrots Ellers! Hello, everyone, and welcome, one and all, to the Season 8 Movie Trivia Schmodown Awards Ceremony. Please take your seats, everyone. I appreciate your applause, but eventually... We do have a lot of fun and frivolity to get to here today. Season 9 is just about upon us here at the Schmodown. It's titled Reboot. But before we hit that reset button on the old Nintendo, we like to take a look back at the greatness, some of the more comedic lowlights, and everything in between that was Season 8. And we would be remiss if we did not honor the current champions heading into this Reboot Season 9. First up, it's your Star Wars reigning champion in a galaxy far, far away, but we celebrate Thomas the Major Harper here on Earth as well. We also have, in the inner geekdom realm, Mike the Killer Kalinowski back on top as champion there. Your team's champions are William the Beast Bibiani and Brendan the Kid Meyer uniting to form Shazam! And finally, your singles champion, currently reigning, probably not giving that title up anytime soon, Lady Justice Marisol McKee. And you would think winning singles champion is enough for Marisol, but no, then she had to go defeat me handily in our fantasy football championship game. She might be nice, but she is vicious on the battlefield. But that's what this season eight was all about. It was titled War for a Reason. And so we saw a look back at some of the action that ensued. But again, this is the movie Trivia Schmodown Awards. And I'm Mark Ellis. I host this thing every year from the world famous comedy store where I have an audience of adoring fans laughing and hanging on every word and every joke that I utter. So we did this virtually last year. I did a monologue and I think it played well. My stuffed animals were having an off day in my apartment, but being that as it may, and now we're in a new studio here at 10 Cloverfield Lane, instead of me doing a live monologue, we decided to give you a look back on some of my greatest monologue jokes in Schmodown Award history. Roll it!
That obviously was a different reel that the editors decided to put together. We all love Molly the Wonder Dog, and it appears that my legacy in the Schmodown is disappearing like a Hill Valley photograph. Anyway, let's get to the awards, shall we? Again, I hope there's applause in here somewhere. My intern, Thad, has told me that there is. What a commissioner he was once upon a time. And now, to introduce our first award, is me, Mark. I'll be here the whole time introducing all of the awards. And I believe it's for Instagram Player of the Year. I read that abbreviation wrong. Inner Geekdom Player of the Year. And the nominees are... Inner Geekdom Player of the Year. Amaru Moses. Chandru Dondapani. Mara Kanopic. Mike Kalinowski. Robert Parker. And the winner. The Inner Kingdom Player of the Year is Mike the Killer Kalinowski. Uh, uh, wow, guys, I have to say, um, thank you. Thank you very much for this. It, it does, you know, this season has been crazy. Um, I, I don't know what to say. You know, this has been a he heck of a season and to see, you know, I, I should start off with the saying, like, you would think after what I did this season in Inner Geekdom, you know, winning my belt back, defending it once, twice, three times against some of the best players to ever play the game. I would think that this would have been a landslide, but I'm sure there's some of you out there that didn't vote for me. But guess what? Doesn't matter, because I won. I'm a winner in life, and now I'm a winner in the Schmodown, as you guys all know. Uh, but <laughs> all joke aside, guys, this, this means the world to me. You guys know what inner geekdom means to me. I want to thank you for being here with me this whole time uh, on this journey, and it's been, I guess, five years now I've been playing IG. Uh, you guys know what these movies mean to me. I knew everyone in the Shmodan loves movies, but the IG is, it's what I've always said is m my home, and, and it's because they're, they're the movies that have made me who I am, uh, and I love it. I love being able to compete against some of the best competitors in the Shmodan. Uh, you know, all these people I've played all season long, Chandru, Mara, uh, Amaru, Robert Parker, Damon, uh, just the best of the best, making me the best of the best, and, and, and what you guys, how you kind of put me on, uh, um, I don't know, Rushmore or Pedestal or whatever now this season. They don't think I don't hear it. And I don't understand, uh, respect it and, and love it. I, I, I thank you so much for all that, guys. It means the world. So next season, who knows what's going to happen? You know, those goalposts keep getting moved further. I heard someone else say, well, Alex Damon defended his belt four times. And Mike, you know, if you could go for that. So who knows? Who knows what will happen? But thanks so much, guys. You know, I keep telling Mike, he could be one of the great players in Schmodown history if he would just get some confidence. Believe in yourself, Mike. You'll get there. You know, he might consider himself the James Bond of the inner geekdom category, while his competitors look at him more as a Blofeld. We look at how this sport has grown over these past eight seasons, and you say, well, Mark, you look so young. How do you do it? Well, maybe it's my baby face. And that's the next award we have, the baby face of the year. Baby face of the year. Beth May. Brendan Meyer, Janine the Machine, Nikki Timalanta, William Bibiani. And your winner, baby face of the year is Nikki Dimmy Dimalanta. Hey guys, it's Dimmy. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Uh, thank you to everybody that voted, and especially everybody that voted for me. Uh, to be considered against the uh, other nominees in this category is wild, because what a great bunch, especially Mr. Babyface himself, Brendan Meyer, that's wild. Um, you know, to be accepted by fans into this division so quickly and so warmly, is it's really, really meant a lot, and it's... Uh, it's been crazy and mind blowing um, to go from never thinking I would ever compete to actually competing and somehow making my way to spectacular. It's been insane and um, I'm very appreciative. So thank you so much. And I hope you had fun watching last season. And as for this season, I hope you're ready. 
Yeah, see, it's fun. There's like sand people and there's tauntauns. It's a really good, you should watch. Hey, and we are back and ready to present our next category. Well, for every baby face, there has to be a heel. We love our heroes, but sometimes it's just more fun to be the villain. And now the award for Heel of the Year. Heel of the Year. Bobby Gucci. Chandru Dondapani. Gold Leader. Mike Kalinowski. The Rager Rick Radis. And the winner. Schmodown Award for Heel of the Year is Chandru the Chosen Dondapani. You know, every person goes through times when they reflect upon their entire life. Uh, for me, such a time was uh, the off season and the holidays. I was thinking about this past year, all the things that I said, the things that I've done, the things that I've tweeted, and what I should do going forward in 2022. And you, toxic enablers, give me an award for this kind of behavior. So here's what I'm gonna do in 2022, season 9 going forward. I'm gonna continue to raise the standard for which, what despicable things can be done in this league because, let's face it, no one else in this league, past or present, is gonna do it. And by the way, congrats to all other nominees. You guys must have gotten like, what, five or six votes combined? Great job! And, Smets, you crash my speech at the spectacular. <laughs> and challenge me for a match. I'm coming for you, buddy. You better watch up all the movies and study up because I'm coming for you. I'm gonna smash the smasher. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. That pay-per-view is gonna be airing sooner rather than later, so make sure you're checking out our movie trivia showdown Patreon. You know, Chandra, I'm fine with you staying the heel, but you might want to run some of those lines by Norma Jean on your wall. She didn't look all that thrilled about your current place. Down. Now, as we move on here, we have our next category, which is it's nice to be a singles player. It's great to be a team's player, but every competitor needs a faction to rely on. And that's why this award, I'm being told, is one of the closest votes we've ever had in Schmodown history. Here are now the nominees for Faction of the Year. Faction of the Year. The Dungeon. The Finstock Exchange. Corruption. The Quirky Mercs. The Usual Suspects. And the winner for Faction of the Year is, again, this is one of the closest races in history, so everybody take a breath, get that suspense going. The dossier seemed to have worked for the Finstock Exchange. Congratulations to the Finstock Exchange. Season 8's Faction of the Year. Now, I'd have to assume we won by a landslide. Probably like 20,000 votes to somebody else maybe had won. I'm thinking. This was a complete landslide. Unanimous decisions. Uh, anybody who didn't vote for us is a, is a loser and knows nothing about the game or the way the sport is run. You know, people doubted us. People doubt everybody, you know? They doubt me all the time. I think my my track record is proven. So if you're still a doubter, you're just a loser. It's, it's just brass tacks. You know, we had a bunch of rookies on this squad that did unprecedented things. Half these guys, or mostly all of them, uh, will be in the league next year uh, doing things that nobody thought they can do. We plucked them from obscurity. That's the kind of stuff we did. We built stars. Nobody else does that. You know, in the immortal words of Meatloaf, you know, there ain't no Coupe de Ville lying in the bottom of a Cracker Jack box. I beg to differ. Well, not really. But we found Ferraris in a box of Cocoa Puffs. That's the difference. We make legends. So, congratulations, fans. You deserve it uh, for making us here the faction of the year. Clearly, we belong to it. We owned it. We did it. And, you know, 
We're not really hard to read, but some people just prefer fiction. I didn't get any of that. Oh, no, 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 I heard the whole thing. I just didn't understand a word that that idiot was saying. Now, if you heard a crash during that acceptance speech, that was the sound of Shannon Barney throwing a wine bottle through a window. Flew right out of there like a bat out of hell. Well, that is going to be a hotly debated award for the faction of the year. But up next, it's a place to debate all of these awards and the matches and the characters, the personalities. Everything that you see in the movie trivia showdown is thanks to our incredible fans. Sometimes they even fire up a podcast and talk about us on after shows. And that's what this next award is all about. The award for podcast of the year. Podcast of the year. Beyond the Schmodown, Certain Point of View, Machine Mondays, Schmodown Backstage, Schmodown Rundown. And the winner for the podcast of the year, because Rotten Tomatoes is Wrong was not eligible, is the Schmodown Rundown. Take it away, fellas. Well, here we are. Thank you so much, everybody who voted for us for the podcast of the year, the Schmodown Rundown. We always say, Frank, this is the only show that matters, but really the only thing that matters are the listeners of all these great shows, and we're just honored to be uh, nominated amongst them. But, uh, Frank, I mean, honestly, this award is for you, man. The, this it's show, you're the heartbeat of this program. This is the award. This is me and you. Uh, I'm obviously the taller owl, and you're nestled under my neck. But... Uh, this is all for you. I uh, could not have done this uh, these past few years, this whole run without you, Brad. And uh, I want to thank everyone that voted for us. Uh, thanks for tuning in each and every week on YouTube, downloading the podcast on the feed. And uh, it's been a lot of fun this past this past year. And uh, you know, also big congrats to all our fellow nominees that were in this category. They all have great shows, um, but they don't have the moniker of the only show that matters. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> you know, we, we did talk a big game coming into this award season, and really we are so thankful to everybody um, who voted for us and everyone who we were nominated with. Every every show is great. More Schmodown shows the best. But I know, Frank, we talked a big game, and everybody online was talking, what would we do if we didn't win? I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. Thank you, everybody. Ah, Brad Gilmore and Frank Janis. Fresh-faced, young, backwards hats. They remind me of a movie review channel I used to watch. That was a different time. The era we're in now features scintillating matchups each and every week of the movie trivia showdown. And sometimes a ball game can end not the way it was supposed to go. Those are called upsets. Wait, I can't believe that person defeated. Whoa, that team pulled that upset? That's what we're here to talk about now because it is upset of the year. Upset of the year. Janine the Machine defeats Dan Merle. Paige Frabetti defeats Ben Bateman. Andrew Dimolanta defeats Alex Damon. Nikki Dimolanta defeats Alex Damon. Press Room defeats Danger Zone. And your winner for Upset of the Year, for Betty versus Bateman. Schmodown fans, thank you guys so much for voting for me as winner of Upset of the Year against Ben the Boss Bateman. I mean, let's be real, the only person that was really upset about that loss was Ben himself. But I gotta give a huge shout out to Kleenex for supplying him with an unlimited supplies of tissues to wipe away those tears. But guys, I gotta say, a little hard work, dedication, so smack talk can go a long way. So, guys, woo, don't be afraid to call your shots because you never know what will happen. So this is for you guys. Thank you. Woo! She's allowed to drink. I don't know why I'm not allowed. Hey, we're back, and congratulations to Paige for Betty and I, I guess sort of Ben Bateman. I mean, technically, y'all both won the award for upset of the year, and, you know, it takes a whole team sometimes. It takes a village to raise an idiot, but it takes a team to get some of the biggest victories and most inspiring matches in Schmodown history. So now we progress to the award 
for Team of the Year. Team of the Year. Danger Zone. King Arthur. Corruption. Lightning Time. Shazam! And the winner of the Schmoey. Because I'm pretty sure that these two fellows enjoy calling them the Schmoeys like I do. It is William Bibiani and Brendan Meyer Shazam. Hey, we won yes. a thing! Yes! All right. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much, everybody. Yes. Thank you. This has been a hell of a year for us at Shazam. And uh, that it culminates in winning an award that, you know, we've been around for yeah. a bit. We've never won never Team of the Year team before. Of the year. Never been Team of the Year. It's very like, like it's always been the person who beats yeah, us. Yeah, person who beats us spectacular usually wins this award. And thankfully, thankfully for once, you know, we. I was gonna say we beat us at spectacular, but we didn't. We just we, we, did. we did. We did. We beat the ghosts of our past. Curse. We beat the ghosts of our past. We defeated the curse, and we were able to also win Team of the Year. So no, it's a. Uh, I just want to thank um, Koi and everyone in the faction and uh, you, Bibbs, uh, for being an incredible partner. And just everyone who works on MTS behind the scenes as well. Everyone who creates this amazing product for us to be a part of and this amazing league for us to play in. And uh, yeah, all the fans as well. What about you? Yeah, I got I to gotta thank Koi as well. We would not be here without Koi. We would not be here without everyone else in our faction. You know, we wouldn't have gotten those... Uh, steals off of corruption if we hadn't been uh, training with people for inner geekdom um, and, and Star Wars as well. Uh, we had a great group of people behind us, uh, and that goes not just for the people on our faction, those people at the Schmodown, but also the people at home. I want to dedicate this award uh, to my partner, M. Lapis da Silva, uh, who was with me through thick and thin. Uh, and and the kid, you can attest to this. I am a nervous wreck before every single match, keeping me like calm is like a full-time job and uh, it just means the world to me that we've had such a great uh, support network so thank you to everybody thank you to all of our fans who supported us this year thank you to christian uh who uh, finally admitted that we're in the top 20 teams of all time <laughs> uh and uh thank you to mark for being a great host a You're amazing absolutely host. absolutely thanks to everyone all my family as well and look we we might have won team of the year but i think we both feel our team is larger than just us you know that's true yeah. That's true. So uh, Shazam 2022, let's keep on keeping on. Life is a garden. Dig it. That, I heard it. Yeah, you said my name. It's uh, so easy to do. You're surprised more people don't. You know, they look like a before and after picture for Manscaped. But as a team, they're unstoppable and darn near unbeatable as they proved yet again here in Season 8. Your current champions and now team of the year winning the Schmoey. It is Shazam. Well, now we're at that point in the awards show when, if we're in front of a live audience, none other than Christian George Harloff VII himself will come up on stage and present the Yodi Award. Now, we're not obviously live at a setting like the world-famous Comedy Store. We're here in our studios in room 237 of the Overlook Hotel. And your winner of the Yodi Award this year is someone who I do believe has seen every Stanley Kubrick feature in a theater. Every one of them. 2001, Dr. Strangelove. Uh, well, the moon landing was a made-for-TV production, but he still saw it live, and he's a guy who I love busting his chops. And the reason why is because he's been such a great player over the years. Not only has John the Outlaw Roca meant so much to us here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown Studios, to all the fans around the world, if you're a supporter of the Movie Trivia Schmodown, probably because you saw Roca, whether it was his correct answers, his presence, his many words that he has for everyone, and you fell in love or hate with the outlaw. And by proxy, you got into this fun sport that we call the Schmodown. There's never been a greater ambassador in the history of this eight seasons so far than John Roca. And as he said goodbye and walked off into the sunset at last year's Schmodown Spectacular, it seemed to be a fitting moment for a cowboy who is finally ready to hang up the spurs. feel that I gave you everything I got. I am taking the hat off. I'm taking the boots off. 
but you better damn well believe it doesn't mean I'm done being the outlaw, that's for sure. Top 10, John Ruka! The outlaw has changed a bit. He's gone from heel to face and back a couple of times, but he's always been the outlaw. He has always been that one character because John Roca pretty much nailed it out of the gate. And that's something we all aspire to. We all want to be a superstar right out of the gate. I don't know, Tatooine, best spin for months has haunted me. So to be able to come down here, be able to beat Mance once and for all and earn my shot in the Schmodown, it's everything to me right now. He's just one of the best. You know, the passion that that guy has for the game. Because heel or no heel, this guy is competitive. And he wants all the belts, heel or otherwise. He went and got that belt. And it's because of John that you get characters and people like an Andrew Guy and a Betty and Kevin Smets and all these people who have come after John Roca because he was the first one to embrace the idea. Oh! <laughs> bringing it out. I've been working my ass off to fight Dan Merle, and now the time has come. But I care about this game a lot. I work really hard. I spent hours studying movie trivia. Outlaw Nation! And your winner, the Outlaw, John Ruka! Hey everyone, it's the outlaw, John Roca. How are you? Well, well, the Yodi Award. It has come to this. Seven seasons of blood, sweat, and tears. And it's time to head on down the road. Thank you so much for this incredible honor, this incredible award. You know, I've seen so many phenomenal people in our game, so many legends in our game win this award in seasons past. And so it's an honor to be considered in their company and to have done anything to be considered in their company as well. You know, as I said, seven seasons. It's been a hell of a run. A lot of great memories, both good and bad. A lot of fun times, both good and bad, and in the middle uh, as well. Um, but I have to say, this last uh, season has been a special one for me to start off with here with my speech. Uh, the Finstock Exchange, being able to put this plan in motion, bring all these rookies and second-year players onto one team, with a couple with a few veterans and be able to shock the world and almost win that faction title at Schmodown Spectacular. No one saw it coming in the fact that we were able to do it. This is a way to end your career. One hell of a ride shocking the Schmodown community one more time and being a part of that was a hell of a thing to experience. So thank you to every member of the Finstock Exchange because it was a blast. And thanks to every player I've ever played, thanks to every fan I've ever met and had interactions with, both the fans that supported me, who were so incredible with their messages, so incredible with their, with their their um, just their words and the things that they said to support me when I was down or when I'd won. And yes, definitely thank you to the people who've hated me through my entire career. You guys have been incredible in motivating me to achieve the things that I've achieved. You stay angry, I'll stay a four-time champion. How about that? I think I got the better end of the deal there. Uh, thanks to everyone I've ever played uh, or alongside, including Matt Nost and Dan Merle and JTE. You know, when, it, when you're in a tag team, there's a special kind of bond that uh, develops between you when you're riding, when you're hanging and banging with another player you get to surrender a little bit of your vulnerability a little bit of your fear and also a lot of your success you get to share it with somebody who you respect and all three of those gentlemen i certainly respected as i played the game uh and i want to say one last thing and that's to everyone who's coming 
into the game, all the future players and all the current players who are in. Go and make your legacy. The Schmodown is there for you to play your heart out and win. Yes, yeah, sometimes you're going to fail. Sometimes you're going to lose. Sometimes you're going to stumble. But it doesn't mean you can't come back and shock the world. That's why this game is so incredible because it builds legends. It builds legacies. And if you love it, if you give yourself to the game, the game will repay you in spades. I will say as much emotion and studying and time that I gave the game, it gave me back tenfold what I gave it from a following perspective, from a fan perspective, from a friend's perspective, and most of all, from an emotion perspective. And I can't thank you all enough. You know, I don't want to go into all the other stuff that's happened outside the game that I've documented and spoken about that have been kind of things that I've had to navigate and overcome in order to play matches in order to do the things that i've done that's all part of life just like they say in ted lasso football is life well the schmodown is life as well you get out what you put into it you always do you know and i appreciate that so thanks thanks guys for the yodi award it's an honor and a privilege to have been able to be the outlaw for seven seasons um and thanks to every single person who has told me how much I inspired them or changed their lives because they lived vicariously through my journey, through my ups and downs, through my struggles, through my tough moments. They found the inspiration to do that in their lives. And that is one of those kind of uh, indirect benefits that I had no idea was going to happen in the Schmodown. So when you have fools tell you, hey, it's just movie trivia, you don't understand. You don't get it. The people who get it, they understand and they appreciate what you've done in the game and the legacy you've left. And I hope I've made you proud. And especially to every member of the Latino, Latina, Hispanic community, I hope I represented us proudly in the game as one of the pillars of this game. I hope I carried our banners, our flags forward in a positive way. I hope you feel that the outlaw, what he did, is something to be proud of within our community, because I know I'm proud of it to be able to be one of the pillars and the founding members of the Schmodown game that you see today. All right, that's it from me. I got to head on down the road, feed some horses, and tend to the ranch. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for everything. I love you madly. I will carry the Yodi Award proudly and hopefully be back to see some of these matches live and see some of your fans live as well in the future once all this stuff dies down. I look forward to it. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all your love. I love you right back. I'll miss this game, and I'll miss all of you, but I'll always be proud of my time in the Schmodown. Y'all take care of yourselves now. Outlaw, out. John the Outlaw Roca. Couldn't have said it better myself. I might have added that, um, you know, I defeated you once upon a time, but that's neither here nor there. That is the outlaw, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And by the looks of that vid, you're getting a lot of free stuff from studios, so keep it coming and support John Roca on his channel here on YouTube. We move on to your next category, which is, again, not going to leave us short on emotion of any kind because it's about the comebacks that we've seen. Sometimes a player leaves for reasons personal, professional, or they just get tired of me and my great jokes, but then they always come back. And that's what this award celebrates, your Comeback Player of the Year. Comeback Player of the Year. Andrew Dimalanta. David Del Rio. Janine the Machine. J.T.E. Mara Kanapik. And the winner for Comeback Player of the Year. This person actually didn't leave. They just played so well this past season. You couldn't go without notice. And that is Janine the Machine. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my first ever Schmodown Award. This feels amazing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all the fans who voted. Thank you for all of your support this season. It has meant the world to me. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to my amazing manager, Roxy Stryer. All of your confidence, love, and support just kept me going this season, kept me feeling confident and strong and cocky, and I could not have done any of this without you. So thank you so much, Roxy. I love you. Thank you to the amazing stars, Brandon, Alex, Felix, Christy, Zach, Jacoby, Nick, the question writing, the studies, 
sessions, just even the fun, silly conversations, making sure I was ready for matches. You guys are the best. This You made this season the most fun I've ever had and I could not have done this without you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you to Jeff Snyder for uh, having the confidence and trust in me to fill the shoes of the amazing Mark and Draco. That meant so much to me. So thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you to my amazing friends, Tina, Kristen, Abby, Morgan, and the amazing Kevin Smets. All of your kind words of love and encouragement just kept me going this season and uh, you guys are the best and I love you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you to my family, mom, dad, Justin, Janelle. Thank you for encouraging all the ridiculous things I want to do in life. I love you guys. And thank you to my amazing Mr. Machine. Thank you for being there with a big hug for every win, for every loss. I could not have done any of this without you, without your love and support. I love you. And thank you, Mark and Christian, for bringing the Schmidt onto the world and letting me be just a small part of that. This is amazing. Thank you guys so much. And here's to season nine. A couple fun facts about Janine the Machine. She's a good luck charm when it comes to watching your NFL team. I remember watching the Washington football team play against the Raiders. She showed up at the bar and the team won on a field goal. Uh, at the time of this taping, our team doesn't have a name, but I think they do as of this airing. So go Commander Admiral Hogs. Janine's also a great artist. Uh, some of her artwork adorns my walls at my apartment. So if you're ever lucky enough to get invited there, Molly knows she lives there sometimes. And you know, something that I always like to tell somebody, anyone, whoever's coming back to my place with me, could be a friend, could be a romantic conquest. It's, look, my apartment may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. I stole that line from a galaxy far, far away. The man who uttered it was Han Solo. The movie he's in, Star Wars, and man, did that road meander, but here we are for your next award, the Star Wars Division Player of the Year. Star Wars Player of the Year. Andrew Dimalanta. Gold Leader. Laura Kelly. Nikki. Dimalanta, Thomas Harper, you hear those five names and it fear strikes in my heart. They know so much about, they know more about Star Wars than George Lucas or Dave Filoni or Kathleen Kennedy. All of them combined, those are the geniuses that Lucasfilm should be reaching out to. Here and now, we reach out to one, and that is your winner the Star Wars Division Player of the Year, and it is the Major Thomas Harper. Hey there, Schmodown. The Major reporting for duty. Thank you for this incredibly humbling honor. My first and my biggest thanks go out to my wife, Marissa, and my two girls, Evelyn and Madeline. Without the three of you, this wouldn't be here. None of this would be possible. I wanna thank all of the members of the former den your names deserve to be on this belt just as much as mine do. And don't take those dishonorable discharges at Spectacular too, too personally. I want to thank each and every fan out there that supported me all along the way, who voted for me in this very tight awards race. And to those that didn't, to those that booed the Major as he gave the Pledge of Allegiance to the Den during Spectacular, to those who disrespected General Mulligan, the Major sees you. The Major sees your lack of patriotism. The Major sees your lack of loyalty. And I've got one thing to say to you. The Den is coming back reloaded, and the Major is coming for you. Major out. Woo! Got a little spicy towards the end in the words of a great emperor. Good. Good! Me, I would just simply say, well, you look a little angry, and anger leads to hate, or hate leads to suffering, suffering leads to a late night at a taco place. I can't remember the exact line, but I do know that Thomas Harper put on a show for the ages at the movie trivia showdown spectacular. And now he can add Star Wars player of the year to his illustrious resume. Guy's got a wife and kids and he still is able to watch Star Wars on a loop. Way to pull that one off. All right, let's move on to our next award. And one of the things that we love here in the showdown the most is the camaraderie. Right behind that are the feuds. Yeah, there's a lot of feuds that bubble up, some anticipated, some out of the blue, but they all get factored into this next award, which is the Feud of the Year. Feud of the Year. Dan Merle versus 
John Roca. Gold Leader versus Thomas Harper. Ben Bateman versus Paige Frabetti. The Demolantas versus Alex Damon. Mike Kalinowski versus Chandru Dondapani. And the winner for Feud of the Year. That both parties get to celebrate this equally, and I think they will because it is Mike, the Killer Kalinowski, and Chandra, the Chosen, Don Dapani. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you so much. It's such a great honor to share this award with me, Mike. It must be such an honor for you to share this award with me. Well, it is a very big honor. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm missing something. Let me get this back on there. Remember, remember this bad boy? This, oh yeah, my sloppy seconds. Oh yeah, it does look that's good what this award is uh, celebrating. This little tete-a-tete uh, -tete that you and I like to do here, back and forth here. And, you know, I, I, I've been, uh -huh. I've been I, you know, you shine it up nice for me. I've been keeping it nice and uh, shiny my entire time I've had this. I've had it for a while now, so, oh. you know. But I, I have to how think. Does it, how does it feel? What's, no, good, good. Let, please, go first, go first. How does it how does it feel to have such an, another achievement where someone else is doing ninety percent of the work, just like Team Corruption, Mike? You just sit <laughs> back and just reap the benefits of everything that someone else is doing. That's the you know in my book of uh, management and I've you know things I've studied in life. It's always to let the underlings do all the hard work and then I just reap the benefits. Of course, you figured me out here. Uh, I, I, I need to say thank you to that you know, but I I, I do need to say you know. There's always, you know, you talk about people being carried and whatnot, and, you know, you've made me look good the entire time, so I need to thank you for that. This award, I guess, goes for both of us here, but you made me look so good for how bad that you played, mm -hmm. so I have to thank you as well. As much as it hits, as much as it hurts me that I'm getting you an award, you're welcome. Oh. Well, I need, okay, for being nice here, let me, I'll take off the, the little, the, put the, the daggers away for a second here. You know, award like this is... It, 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 all these awards people win by themselves you know but this is a award that i would not have won without you um you you, you you're I, one know. Of the, oh, I know okay here we go yeah try to be nice you're, you're one of the best at what you do out there and it, it's it's like an acting your scene partner partner makes you better and and you made me look phenomenal all season long uh so i i have to thank you for that yeah and uh, no villain is great without a boy scout leader who just like likes to just eat up all the cheers and just goes up there and smiles and puts this like baby face up there so great job i guess for just you know being there stuck to the wall i think we've been talking too long and i would sign ourselves off here i'd like to ask what you're going to be doing next season but it really is not going to matter now <laughs> is it usually you ask people to top with their game like what are you going to do next year it's like well, you're not really going to do much of anything, are you? So I would love to say we could continue this rivalry, but until you get back up to the top of the mountain, I don't think I'll be seeing you anytime soon. And I already know what you're going to do the ne do next season. You're already on top of the mountain, so you're just going to fall. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch you fall, and I'm going to be a part of you falling. That's the good thing. <laughs> if I do fall, then, then I can come down to your level, and we can do this rivalry all over again. See? Win, win. I'm going to want to knock you off, Mike. Bye. Bye, buddy. Thanks, guys. You know, we could have edited that. That was the edit. Oh, my mistake. The Chosen and the Killer. No, it's not a Liam Neeson movie in Redbox. That's actually the names of your winners for Feud of the Year. And Mike really loves that belt. All champions enjoy having it. I see Mike at the grocery store. He's got the belt. I see him walking his dog. Got the belt. One time I walked into the bathroom, he was coming out of the shower. Still wearing the belt. And why not? He deserves it. And he ran through a very tough inner geekdom division to get it back. Now, there's people who want belts. But we're all in that category unless we currently have one adorning our waist. Maybe the folks who want it the most are the newbies, the fresh faces, those who've come into the league and barnstormed it, made a name for themselves, and maybe even got all the way to a title match or even wearing a belt at some point. And that is who we're here to celebrate now. It's your award for Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year. Amaru Moses. Griffin Newman. Josh Horowitz. Nikki Dimalanta. Thomas Harper. And 
and the winner. We didn't have a budget for envelope. Then I'll just say the name, and I hope I get it right. Downtown Griffey Nooms. Here we are. Another unanimous win for the Finstock Exchange. You know, I won unanimously for the, uh, you know, four-time manager. That's obviously clear. Um, you know, <sighs> Griffey News isn't here to accept the award because he's working and studying uh, to be the best, which he already is. So you guys should actually, you know, thank us for letting you be a part of the what the Finstock Exchange did this year, which was basically win everything, just like we told you we were. Um, you know, good job, fans. Good vote. Unanimous, 100%. He had 100% of the vote. Very hard to do. Derek Jeter, Ken Griffey Jr., you know, me, every single other year for manager of the year. Um, look, if I didn't have everything, I'd have nothing. Well, we mentioned before that there's a lot of great podcasts, a lot of them done by members of our own community, including your winners of podcast of the year, Frank Janish and Brad Gilmer. But we also love to credit everyone who participates in celebrating the Schmodown in some sort of public forum. And that is why we have this next award, and it will be presented to the Schmodown Media Personalities of the Year. The Schmodown Media Award. Certain point of view. Let's get ready. Shmomi the money. Spin from the real. The ultimate Schmodown after show on the Outlaw Nation Network. And the winner of the Schmodown Media Award is. Well, they're all winners from a certain point of view. Congratulations. Take it away, y'all. View crew! Wow. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, look, honestly, this is an absolute surreal moment for us. Um, when Brian and I started this two years ago, and then Jill and Molly joining shortly thereafter, we never in our wildest dreams thought this was actually going to be a possibility. Um, we put in the work, but honestly, this is all because of you guys. Everyone who watches supports us. Uh, we cannot thank you guys enough for this, seriously. Uh, yeah, you guys are freaking amazing. We didn't think this was at all possible, and here we are. Uh, so cheers to all of y'all. Cheers to the View Crew. Uh, thank you for sticking with us through this uh, crazy, nonsensical ride of ours. Yeah, we love you guys. We couldn't have even begun to get a start in this game without you guys. So thank you very much. And this has been crazy for me to just get to know everybody else in the Schmodown. Like I came from Star Wars, but now I feel like I know a lot more of it in a much bigger picture. So thanks for letting me in the family. And this has been really fun. Yeah, for, for everyone, uh, whether you're a competitor, manager, a, a watcher of the Schmodown, which you are the most important part of this, uh, a big, big thank you for everything. Uh, not only do we have this channel, but honestly, you have created a lifelong friendship between the four of us. And this is just uh, one of the many things that we're going to be able to accomplish as friends. So again, thank you very much uh, for everything. And uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, I want to do a fan poll. What was in Julie Marie's glass? Was it some sort of wine? It looks like it could be one of those ugh, Belgian beers. I'm hoping it was a certain light product, but congratulations nonetheless to Julie, to Jake, to Brian, and especially to Molly, who's got good taste in pasta, great taste in beer. And thank you to everyone, not just the nominees here, but everyone who celebrates this sport and gets it out into the world and possibly other parts of the galaxy, maybe even a distant planet like Mars, where Matt Damon grows potatoes and invests in cryptocurrency. Well, we have five awards left, just five, but what a gaggle they are. Kicking off with this one, the Movie Trivia Schmodown Award for Singles Player of the Year. Singles Player of the Year. Dan Merle. Ethan Irwin. Griffin Newman. Marisol McKee. Janine. The Machine. 
And your winner for the Singles Player of the Year in Season 8. She only beat me by like 40 points in our championship game. Lady Justice Marisol McKee, congratulations. Hello, Schmoville, and thank you for this enormous honor of Singles Player of the Year. This is, this is fantastic. Um, I have to give a huge thank you to every competitor that I faced along the way this year at Season 8. Um, Vinny Mancuso, Video Drew, Janine the Machine, Kevin Smith, Ethan Irwin, Chance Ellison, and Griffin Newman, lastly, and certainly not least. Um, this year would not be possible without facing these excellent, formidable opponents around the way that show the quality of this game. Um, and I'm just honored to to get in the ring with these people and, and have the year that I've had. Um, I want to dedicate this to the people that this would not even be possible. And I have to dedicate it to my faction, Corruption. Um, this is my family um, before this award and after this award. And I could not have done even half of the things that I did without all the amazing people in my faction by my side. So I have to dedicate this to every last one of them and my manager, Shannon Barney. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Skybound. Um, and thank you, all you amazing fans. Um, this is truly an honor. Thanks, everybody. There you have it, Lady Justice. Did you hear the names of the people that she beat this past season? Those are some heavy hitters. That's like a who's who. Some of them won awards during this show. Unbelievable. Four awards left. And this next one, you know, I say unbelievable. Wow, did we have some moments for the history books. Some of them even involved a score of 5150. It's not just a great Van Halen album slash song anymore. Now it's one of the most revered scores in Schmodown. But could it be enough to be the moment of the year? Here are the nominees. Moment of the year. Kevin Smets returns at Spectacular Six. McKee wins the singles championship. Andrew Dimolanta versus Alex Damon, 51-50. Maura Kanopic returns to win the Inner Geekdom championship. Wildberries reunite at Spectacular Six. Well, finally, a list of nominees where I know who didn't win. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Josh and Elliot. You're adorable. And the winner for the moment of the year is... The return of the smasher, Kevin Smets. From all of us here at the Schmodown, congratulations to you and your family. <sighs> wow, this is incredible. Thank you, everybody. Uh, first off, I just want to thank everyone for voting. Uh, I did not expect this. If you were to ask me a year ago when I was accepting the Yodi, um, that uh, a year from now I would be accepting uh, the best moment of the year, uh, which means that I get to come back, uh, I, I, A, I wouldn't have believed you. Um, you know, during uh, my treatment when Christian called me and said, hey, you know, uh, fight your way back. You know how to get back and uh, we'll be waiting for you. And I always thought that that was kind of a pipe dream. Um, and being apart from the game was very hard, to be honest. And um, knowing the fight I had to wage, to get back in the league, to get back to my life was a daily struggle. Um, and this moment at Spectacular, although it was one night, it was actually a culmination. Uh, it was a culmination of all those nights. It was a culmination of the days that I battled for 13 months. It was all those nights. And so to be there with all of you, with all of you fans um, that kept me going throughout that whole time, I just want to say uh, it, it meant a lot to me. It meant the world. So I do uh, um, accept this and, and thank you so much for all that you've done and I just I don't know what else to say but thank you thanks boom hey <laughs> you think you think I'm not gonna crash your speech give you a taste of your own medicine I'm so happy Kevin that you won something in 2022 because you know how you're going to start the season with an L from me just like how you ended your season 7 <laughs> You're gonna go back to your home and sit alone in your loss just like you did in August 2020 because since then nothing has changed. Not much has changed, my friend. And 
<laughs> you you said I didn't beat Kevin the Smashers match that day. I only beat Kevin. You know what? I'm gonna bring Ke that little Kevin out in out of the Smasher, and then I'm gonna beat you once more. That's what's gonna happen. See you soon. That's the Smasher we know and love. You know, you'd think there'd be some sort of encryption device that uh, we can provide. But uh, be it as it may, what a matchup that's going to be. And I'll remind you all once again, it is a pay-per-view event. It's going to be our first one of the season. So the NFL has their little Super Bowl, or as Christian calls it, the big game. And then not too far afterwards, it's going to be Smets and Don DePani. I think there's going to be some eyeballs on that one. All right, let's move on to our next award here. And it's not quite the penultimate one. It's our third from last, which doesn't sound nearly as cool. And it is for the Manager of the Year. Manager of the Year. Bobby Gucci. Coy Jandrew. Heiser. Sam Levine. Shannon Barney. I mean, we should at least give Kaiser like a quarter for not stepping all over Smets' moment there at the Spectacular. Way to get out of the way, bud. And your winner for Manager of the Year is the Queen of Corruption, Shannon Barney. During this offseason, I had the ultimate displeasure of listening to you all have paint from the Finstock factory. We have you go in there for a minute because some of you genuinely believe that Gucci <laughs> deserved to win this manager of the year award. But clearly you do have some brain cells left because you came to your senses and you made the right choice. And for that, I <clears throat> thank you. Anyway, the queen's work is never done, so I gotta run. See you next season, losers. There's the crown and the queen that we know. Congrats to everyone in corruption, including the head of state, Shannon Barney. They may not have a dossier, but uh, they just win, baby. Well, we have two awards left, and your penultimate award is for match of the year. And I'm told it's a laundry list of great matchups that we've had. And why not? Season 8 was filled with drama, unlike any other. And a lot of that is because of how close so many of the matches were. The answers the questions most of them pronounced correctly it all added up to an exciting event time and time again and so while you look at these nominees i am gonna play wordle match of the year dan merle versus adam collins two paul walter hauser versus mike kalinowski janine the Machine versus Marisol McKee. Shazam versus Otter Couple. Deception versus Blackjack. Corruption versus Shazam. Mike Kalinowski versus Chandru Dondapani. Mike Kalinowski versus Robert Parker. Andrew Dimolanta versus Alex Damon one. Thomas Harper versus Nikki Dimolanta. And your winner for match of the year is Andrew Dimolanta 51, Alex Damon 50. Oh my God, uh, who, who talks first? Do, do I talk first? Do you talk first? Yeah, I'll talk okay. first because I've got something to say. I mean, I, I just think that it's interesting that the entire Schmodown community wanted to see me lose so bad that they gave me an award for it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy. This is a, a really fun match. I don't know, speaking for myself, I've been waiting to play you forever. And you know, we, we met each other in Chicago and uh, just, it was a wild match to, to be a part of. And uh, I'm just, in, in, completely thankful because it was at the beginning of the year and a lot of people forget about stuff that happened at the beginning of the year. So I'm glad that we made a mark enough for everybody to remember 
uh, this match uh, so well. It, it was a fantastic match. It was so fun going toe to toe together. Uh, you know, I, I wish that I could have won it, but this is a nice consolation prize. <laughs> and you know, it's cool to see Star Wars get recognition. The Star Wars League has sometimes felt like a little side thing that the Schmodown does, but the fact that a Star Wars match got to be match of the year is super, super cool. Yes, yes. So thank you everybody for who voted for this match. I know I I didn't vote for myself, wink. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was, again, it was a blast to be a part of this match, and I, I think that uh, uh, for both of us, it's really cool to be part of history because this this, this match was, was making history. I'm, I'm glad to, that it was a it was a part. I uh, was a big part of it uh, with uh, this guy right here. Hey, and we got some VH in there after all. 51-50 was the score. Demolanta was the winner by a single point. That'd be Andrew Demolanta over Alex Damon. A lot of good Star Wars players have those two last names. Congratulations to really both of you for just a, a, a super impressive display of Star Wars knowledge and for tolerating Christian and I on the desk while you were locked in laser sword focused. Well, we're at that time, kids. You've been patient long enough. You've sat through an entire award show that is arguably better than the Oscars, or at least the host is. I don't know who's hosting yet. I, is it? No, I haven't gotten a call yet. We'll see. But right now, we have your final award of the year, and it is your overall player of the year. Player of the year. Ethan Irwin. Griffin Newman. Marisol McKee. Mike Kalinowski. Thomas Harper. Between the five of them, they have more belts than a Ross and the winner of the award for player of the year in season eight war in the movie trivia schmodown is lady justice marisol mckee wow <laughs> um wow look princess die and i were here talking about how what a crazy year it's been what a crazy past couple of years it's been in Schmodown and I'm thinking back to when I came into this league and how much especially the future of this game was shrouded in so much uncertainty and I'm first and foremost just grateful to be a part of it um, and to grow how I grew in the league and to now be standing here and be considered um, player of the year voted by a lot of you and that's 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 an unbelievable journey. I have to thank each and every person um, who has impacted me so far in this game. And I'm just really grateful that I could be a part of that impact through your love of the game so much. It's, it's truly an honor. It's truly humbling. I just have to dedicate this to, to my partner in crime and my player of every year, Adam Collins, the Coyote. And I want to thank my faction as always. Um, for supporting me every step of the way um, and letting me be the best player that I could be and my manager Shannon Barney for believing in me and getting me back home from day one last season um, so that I could be standing here today. Um, this is this is truly excellent. I never forget where I came from and I never forget um, all the people who make this game so special. So to the players, the competitors, the crew, the creators, Christian and Mark, Skybound, to all of you, thank you so much. And long live Schmodown. Fighting out of Pennsylvania by way of Temescira, uh, I, I guess, is Marisol McKee. Congratulations, Lady Justice, giving a shout out to her team partner, Adam Collins. Deception, one of the squads to look out for in season nine. And as that closes up shop here at the awards show, it was a fond walk down memory lane. It's a brick of yellow as we lead to the wizard that is Christian Harloff and all of the silly, crazy antics he has planned for season nine reboot. Now, I'm not the guy that's going to break any news, but I will simply tell you that we have a lot 
of interesting storylines, fun surprises, and a whole lot more here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown for this next season, including that pay-per-view match I was telling you all about. A lot of matches that are happening, dare I say it, crossing my fingers in studio, which brings me to my final point of the evening before I play another round of Nintendo Wii Golf. And it is this. Look, the last couple of years have been hard on everyone, and I don't uh, put myself in that category. I had quite a nice living from my humble abode, Ellis Manor West, with me and Molly the Wonder Dog, and we got to broadcast a lot of matches from the comfort of my own couch. But man, did I miss everyone. And that includes the crew here at Skybound, our new and my old director, Thad Williams, and everyone that works behind the scenes here, as well as all of you, you competitors, you managers, most of it fine, all of you, and especially the fans. This sport really could not be a athletic event or a mental trivia exercise without your support. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate from the bottom of my heart, everybody sticking with us through these last two turbulent years in the world. And as we get back to studio matches, we'll still have some virtual events for you, some fun live events along the way. And like I said, Christian Harloff runs this thing, so you know there's going to be some surprises and plot twists aplenty. So with that, Season 9 Reboot is here to turn the Schmodown world on its ear, and I'm just along for the ride. My name is Mark Ellis, and for everyone here at Skybound and the Movie Trivia Schmodown, from the directors, the producers, our writing team, the competitors, the managers, and yeah, the announcers. Hi, Andrew Guy. Thank you for tuning in to the Season 8 Awards Show. Let Season 9 begin.